Huh, Varka. Just the thought of one day going head to head with him in combat. The fabled knight of Boreas himself, Titan of the Knights of Favonius. It makes me buzz with excitement. It's a beautiful life we live in this world. Grandmaster Varka is the legend of his generation. On the day of his triumphant return, I shall be sure to personally introduce you to him. I'm sure you too will be in awe of his greatness. Now that you mention him, it is a shame there is no one in the Knights of Favonius to inherit the Grandmaster's approach to his work. I must say, I really do appreciate people like him. <laughs> the Grandmaster. He doesn't like to beat around the bush and has no care for rumors or trivial matters. A good guy, I guess. I sparred with him once, which ended in a tie, but his relaxed expression and leisurely attitude clearly indicated that he had been holding back the whole time. <sighs> Such indignity. I will not let it go. At first I wanted to join his expedition party and do my part as a maid, but the Grand Master said no. It would give him more peace of mind if I stayed behind to take care of things in Mondstadt. It made me so happy to hear how much he values me. Okay, so apparently he said the same thing to a lot of people, but that doesn't change the fact that he prizes me too. Varka? Razor doesn't know. Oh, Varka is... a name. That man, big. Big Steel Claw Razor's name. Varka gave him. Oh, want to see him. Grandmaster Varka. While I understand his disposition, I can make no sense of his actions. I've said too much already. I've long since left the Knights of Favonius. Forget I said anything. I'm sure Varka means well, but his long-winded conversations get real old real quick. Although, he does really care for those around him, doesn't he? My father left on the expedition with Grandmaster Varka. I hope they are okay. <sighs> what am I worried about? The Grand Master is none other than the Knight of Boreas. Of course they will be fine. Still, I will be sure to pray for their safe return. He's my role model! Talk about team leaders! He's the Grand Master! Leads the whole darn Knights of Favonius! How incredible do you have to be to do that? Recently, though, I've been thinking that having a smaller adventure team isn't such a bad thing after all. I mean, if things got too busy in the team, I'd have no time to look after my dads in the guild, would I? Yeah, yeah, things are fine the way they are. Grandmaster Varka is not only a strong leader who commands respect, but also my personal combat instructor. He taught me to think on my feet and avoid engaging enemies at close combat to make up for my small stature and relative lack of stamina. <laughs> Following his advice, I learned how to fight with a polearm and crossbow, and I must say, this fighting style is far more suitable to me. 